go into, but as I've been thinking about this, I really wanted to start this off by asking a question. Why did you join Cool Cats? Um, and I ask this because I'm really confused um, why there's just so much toxicity going around. Um, the typical response I get to this is that, you know, people want to support me and support the IP. And when I'm finally given the chance to achieve my dream of creating a cartoon show, I just get hit so much with so much backlash. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's a lot of change that's been happening. And believe me, I understand that seeing a company transition and downsize is hard. Um, it was a decision I probably held off from making for far too long because I genuinely love being able to work with so many amazing people and never wanted that to change. But I also believe that where Cool Cats initially went wrong back in 2021 was that we scaled rapidly without agreeing on our North Star. Um, we just have always kind of beat around the bush about what we're trying to be, what we're trying to do, um, trying to figure that out, seeing what works seeing what doesn't work, changing leadership, you know, taking on loads of different partnerships that distract us, and really never giving me a chance to focus on my dream. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we had in play, like Sapphire Town. Sapphire Town was something I was personally very excited about and started developing. Um, it felt like a really cool way of extending the cartoon show and characters into a world that you can interact with. Um, but some ideas are really awesome, uh, but then reality hits. And to keep going with something like Sapphire Town would take a lot more money, a lot more resources, and would really divide our focus on what we really want to do. And that's the cartoon show. Um, and for once, I feel like we're there. Um, and, you know, going through different uh, leadership and whatever, it was really difficult. Um, left me with a lot of hard decisions I needed to make. And it wasn't really until I met Aaron and Shara that things started to feel a lot more clear to me. Um, you know, when I first met them, I was really hesitant to have anyone new join the Cool Cats team. I'd been burned so many times that it just didn't feel right. Um, but that was until I got to meet them in person. And we really connected as humans and clicked very quickly and they heard me out they've really understood what i wanted most out of this ip and they have all the tools to achieve that like creating the cartoon show um you know something that i am so immensely excited about and honestly can't stop talking about <laughs> um you know for so long i've been trying to get my foot in the door with a big animation studio um you know shara got me in to multiple meetings uh, and I got the opportunity to not only chat with these studios, but I was given the opportunity to choose which one I felt best suited my characters. Um, when Titmouse first became an option, I didn't even hesitate to choose them. When I left for college, uh, I actually applied to work there in hopes to further my journey as a cartoon creator. Um, you know, I know their work really well, but more importantly, I know their humor, and it's exactly what I want for my characters. Um, all of this is to say and reinforce that for once in Cool Cat's history, I feel like there's a clear vision. You know, we're doubling down on the animation and every aspect of what we're doing is about the characters. It needs to be about the characters. It's something I've been preaching since 2022, you know, after I felt like we lost our direction. I was trying to recenter us around characters and really making them come to life. And so... For the first time, I really feel like Cool Cats is coming to a complete reset. You know, forget about the past. We are just focused on the future. Um, you know, we really want to keep building something that really fosters a positive environment that loves characters, loves IP, and gives energy to inspiring others so that others can thrive. You know, like inspiring the creator and everyone. It's just so important to me and important to Cool Cats in general, that, you know, I want to be a part of the community again, because uh, I feel like I've been gone for so long. Um, and a big reason for that is there's just been so much ongoing negativity. And to me, there's a big difference between constructive feedback and just being straight up rude. 
Um, and I really have no no longer have a tolerance for this nastiness that's existed for so long. Um, it just doesn't really help spark creativity and positivity. Um, and so, you know, if being toxic is your pastime, then I encourage you to see another community that values that. But we are a cartoon brand of cartoon animals at a milk carton. It's supposed to be fun and lighthearted. That's, I think, what really started this whole thing and why it was such a success in the beginning. Because, like, it was just fun. We were making jokes. Um, you know, it's, again, about cartoon animals. Um, but, you know, unless you're Kira, then you're here for world domination. But all jokes aside, you know, <laughs> I'm working really, really hard on this next batch of, you know, Titmouse episodes. And I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Um, I'm going to pass it along to Aaron Shara because I really want you guys to meet them and see the human side of them. You know, we've, work, we've been working so closely together, um, but haven't really shown that publicly. So I'll, I'll pass it on to you. Thanks, Colin. That was awesome. Um, and I, I really kind of want to reinforce what Colin has been saying here in that you know, our mission, Shara and I, since we got involved with this, and the reason we got involved with it was because we love the IP and we want the IP to be the hero. Um, I think there's a tendency in the space to um, fall prey to um, trying to chase a narrative or, um, you know, build things that are a bit gimmicky because they're on trend. Um, and the trend here is the art you know that's the thing that's enduring it's a um you know a foundation piece of ip in web3 um collector communities and it deserves to be treated like that um and that's the vision that we're here to support and get behind um i think uh, you know to reinforce what con has said you know some of the stuff that we've had to cut away from the business um, is to make sure that that's what the enduring focus is. Um, and I think in a similar way, maybe to way, um, you know, punks exist as art in their own right, and they don't need anything else to prop them up. And that's really the vision that we have for for Cool Cats. Not to say that you won't be able to take Blue Cat with you into um, into cool things to do, but. Um, but really bring the focus home to the art and, and in particular, you know, establishing um, the, the cartoon and animation side of things as a core foundation of how we grow the community um, and do that, you know, through storytelling and through the art itself as opposed to, to, to other things which might, might be short-term gimmicks but don't really kind of reinforce that value. Um, so... We've had to like kind of work through a lot of stuff at the board. You know, Shara and I have had our fights there um, to rip, bring the focus back and control back to Klon and give him um, the ability to make his dream come true. And at the same time, you know, put Cool Cats back where it should be, which which is what he said is a, a fun, cool, iconic piece of Web3 culture and art and really make that the centerpiece of, of how Cool Cats exists going forward. Yeah, and I just want to chime in to echo all of that. I think that a lot goes on behind the scenes that it would be amazing if we could put a camera on every conversation and every collaboration and every brainstorm and every voiceover session and every ounce of the 30 to 40 person team that is working on the storytelling and the animation and all of the things that will be built around that animation around that storytelling. I think that there might be some belief that this is a small thing and that that we don't work as a team and that we don't pour our blood, sweat, tears, and heart into everything that we do and that we don't consider all of the community and who's involved and the characters that they love and the stories that they want to see these characters go into. That's what's happening behind the scenes. There's no, there's no big bad board as, as there have been some uh, suspicion of. I think a lot of things... And Klan, I, I think you can chime in and speak to this. Klan is on the board. Klan is in there with this group every single day making these decisions and leading these decisions and working hard to go back to the heart 
of the characters and the stories. And there's so much amazing, in, inspiring, and joyful things being built on the daily. We're behind the scenes smiling and laughing and having more fun creating the things that are about to unravel and about to be seen. That it's it's so interesting to us to see that that people don't want to be a part of that. Or, or feel that maybe there's some other angle to take to make that come to life. But we believe that the best way to bring stories to life is have everyone involved and everyone seeing the joy that goes into all of it, which is what we get to see every day. Yeah, I think that's a really important point to, to reinforce that even though it seems like maybe the team is smaller, actually the team is bigger, but they're just working on, on something else. Um, and, you know, that... Um, that note of, that Shah is making about the team being all in is, is you know, we're not some kind of carball sitting around the table looking at how we can chop this up and and um, extract value from it. Actually, the opposite. Shah is in there writing, you know, copy lines for um, for social media posts. She's um, out there working her networks in Hollywood to get the best voice talent to come in. Um, be part of this um, amazing animation series that's coming out. She's working her networks and in um, the distribution side so that we can get this in front of more people. And that's really what we're doing behind the scenes. And I think there's probably, it's taken us a little while as a team and as a board to like really sit back and, and look at what had been going on in the company and all of the different initiatives that we're being worked on and just actually get to the point ourselves where we could say, no, let's cut the crap and like get it back to its roots and give it, give it to Klon to, to lead and to, um, to really make his dream come true. And I think in doing that, you know, reestablish Cool Cats as the, the cute fun brand that it should be, um, the iconic art that art that it should be, but do, do, you know, the community growth in a really tasteful way that can, that can be meaningful and sustainable. Yeah, <clears throat> couldn't have said that any better, Aaron. I um, just reinforce that all we want is to make these characters awesome and to make it the biggest thing ever. And we really feel that Cool Cats has the best opportunity to do that. Um, but we had to refocus and re rethink what our strategy is. And we believe that the cartoon and the characters is what's going to get us there. Yep. I think the other thing that I just want to chime in and say is obviously I see this all the time and we've seen it over the last couple of days. More people have jumped into Cool Cats in the last couple of days and have made comments about how they wanted to buy their kids a Cool Cat. It's what they've been waiting for. And it's it, they continue to jump in because we all love the characters. That's why we're all here because these are characters that have – that we love for so many reasons. And, and like Aaron just mentioned, uh, what, as it comes to voicing the characters in the show, that I have called people that I think would bring the heart and soul into these characters. And Klan would agree being in these voiceover sessions and hearing these actors want to jump into these characters because they want to bring them home into their houses and to their kids. And they're so proud. I mean, Dan Snyder is, an award-winning actor all over the place. And he is so excited about bringing his, all of, all of this content into his house with his kids. This is exactly how we build the IP that everyone loves. This is, these are characters. I have Maggie Lawson in my phone with Joe as the photo now of her, because this is a character that has become synonymous with a, a human who is immensely talented. That's what we all believe in and why we're here. We love these characters. And that's been why Aaron and I got involved from minute one and it, and are behind the scenes doing all the things we're doing because our hearts are with these characters. And we think that the community feels the same way. And, and Aaron and I always talk about this on, on the Futureverse side and our Futureverse community who's listening knows this to be true. We are in the community. So like Klan mentioned, we want to be a part of the conversations in ways that acknowledge and and align us all with the things that we love, not the things that we don't love. And so we are around and we are here to talk to everyone and hear everyone's ideas and share all the things that we all want to do together. And we want that to be as joyful as the milk chug is. And you're going to see over the 
coming very short while, all of the things that we're going to roll out that are going to bring you into these these worlds and these characters and these adventures and scenes that you can't even imagine. We took these characters to that are so fun to be a part of, and we should all be a part of that together. And so that's, that's the message that we wanted to convey today is that we have a bunch of a, a brand and IP that we all believe in. And so there's nothing more important than getting behind that and getting behind Klon, because I think everyone in this community can agree we all love Klon. He's an absolute visionary. And we can go back to that there's a number of OG visionaries. There's some amazing founders in this space doing amazing things with their IP. Klon is absolutely at the very top of not only the talent, but the vision, the creativity. And he has become an unbelievable entrepreneur as he's grown in this process. What Aaron and I have had the honor to do of working with him and going through really hard things and having him make decisions that are human and that are from the heart is, is what anyone would want in a leader. So you you have your guy and we're proud to stand alongside of him. Yeah. And and also not to, not to devalue the work that anyone else has done on this journey, getting to here. Um, You know, that's, that's a really important thing to take away from this is that, um, you know, lots of people have put their heart and soul into it. And, um, you know, the, if I do have to put my evil corporate overlord hat on, um, you know, that sometimes the reality of these things is that for the, for the best, you know, long-term sustainable outcomes, you do have to make hard decisions. And unfortunately, you know, that's the, that's the role that we play um, in this, is being able to help people make those hard, hard decisions when they come along. Um, with the with the vision in sight for how this can be bigger and better, um, no one like no one likes to be in that position. I certainly um, take no no pleasure in having to go through that process. But at the end of end of the day, sometimes it's necessary, and it doesn't mean that anyone has done a bad job or they've they've not put themselves into it. It just means that things are different now, and they need to be different because um, you know because we see the potential for how this can grow. Um, I also wanted to add that, you know, there's there's um, there's plenty of stuff um, that we can do to help extend Cool Cat into new places and spaces that can meet new audiences. And you know, we haven't thrown away that the the impact that the technology that we've been building can have on that. Um, but it's really just making it come back to the centerpiece, which is the the characters and the story and the animation as the lead into those other things. A hundred percent. Don't know if you had any other comments, you two, but I did want to reinforce that I'll I'll be around in Discord, um, just chatting it up with everyone. So you know, feel free to stick around, and I'll be here. Yeah, and, I, and I'm I'm a, I'm a very approachable on X, even if I'm not in in Discord. Hit me up, and I'll follow you, and we can DM if you need. Yeah. So. Appreciate everyone listening in. Um, you know, I know nothing about this was easy, and um, you know, it might feel different at times, but it's the same characters, same creator, um, and same vision. So I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you on the other side.